Hi guys, recent discovery, the Higgs particle has been found. Well, um, does that contradict star life? Um, no. I've always said Higgs particles do not exist. Neither does Higgs field. And there's a simple reason for that. Higgs predicted those things in 1964. But way before that, it was predicted or known as common knowledge that there is an ether and gravitons are in it. And now, today, the Higgs field is described as a cloud of particles interacting with mass particles. Exactly what the ether and the gravitons were doing all those years, maybe even for centuries. So, I don't uh, deny Higgs his 50 minutes of fame, but please, he did what he did, in fact, is he admitted the existence of ether and gravitons. He did not invent a Higgs field or Higgs particles. It's nothing new. Um, so I'm going to stick, and I always will stick, to the concept of gravitons and ether. Allow me. The Higgs boson is, in fact, the graviton, and the Higgs field is, in fact, the ether or as we say today, dark matter and dark energy. It's the same thing. I call it liquid grid. It's the same thing. It's, uh, it's the tiny elementary particles within a vacuum. They're very small things, smaller than air. And so Higgs, well, uh, he didn't contribute much. He's a great a mathematician, uh, a nice fellow, but he didn't contribute, he just said, oh, the ether is real and gravitons are real. All concepts. Now, we're going to look at uh, the wave of the Higgs particle. And now you can see how, well, I call CERN always a social workshop. I don't have any respect for uh, people who take in, who steal or lobby billions of dollars and then smash things together to see how they work. They are no more than a social workshop. And this Hicks, well, these Hicks festivities, this promotion thing, this, this, this public relation thing, is there for only one thing, and that is um, they want to keep those funds. They want governments to keep sending them money. So now they're going to shine a light on Hicks and open up a few bottles of champagne and uh, wow, they're good. We're going to send them more money. Don't, it's bullshit. I'm far ahead of those guys. I'm far ahead of CERN, maybe even decades. And if you look, uh, read Star Rap, you can see it. You can see the interaction. They're talking about interaction between Higgs bosons and mass particles. Yeah, I know, I'm not very modest. They show, again, they show the interaction between Higgs uh, bosons and mass particles. The interaction I described in Star Drive about eight years ago, and they are built out of two interactions actually. One is swimming against the stream of gravitons, which is exerting the force of gravitons, and the second is replenish that energy to make uh, a piece of matter do so. Nothing new to me actually, uh, I'm not stunned. But back to the mass of a Higgs particle, and uh, over here I have the mass of a nuclear, and that's uh, confirmed. You can find it everywhere on the internet. It's confirmed by mainstream science, so this is really fa a fact. Um, well, I've always said that a graviton is a sixth, a sixth of a nucleon. Why? There's a nucleon and little white ball graviton. And you can see that a nucleon is made out of six gravitons and they interact just in short. This is how they replenish the energy. This is, uh, and uh, when doing so, it's able to swim through against uh, the incoming graviton. So, simple mechanism, mass. So I say one, I repeat myself, I know, but okay, fine. Nucleon. Graviton, six gravitons make up for a nucleon. So this makes the mass of a graviton 1.55 MeV. And it's uh, uh, a strange way 
mass is, is, isn't energy, but okay. Um, so six of those gravitons make up for a nucleon. And the mass of H is 125 GAV. We see how sort of on TV and very proud of that too. But look at it. It means that uh, Higgs is 130 times heavier than a nucleon. Well, how can that be? How can you claim the Higgs particle is part of a nucleon? And then say, so, yeah, it's part, it's within the nucleon, it's within this glob, within this gluon thing. And then say, well, it's within it, but it weighs 134 times more than the entire thing. That's bullshit. And how did Sub come up with this bullshit? Well, bullshit the first, Newton telling us mass is about equal to weight. It is directly related, there's only a constant in between. Idiots. Mass does not have anything to do with weight. Mass is the number of elementary particles, or as we say, mass is the number of gravitons. Gravitons are the only and smallest elementary particle in the universe. So mass is determined by the number of gravitons. Weight is the result of the interaction between particles and gravitons. So when this thing swims against the stream, it creates a, it exerts a force, and that's weight, and that has nothing to do with the mass of this machine. This little engine has a certain mass, but the mass of the engine has nothing to do with the force it exerts. Only, of course, in big volumes, but not in those little volumes, not when you look at the mechanics of it, an engine, a jet engine. The weight of a jet engine does nothing, says nothing about the thrust of a jet engine. So, mass and weight are not related. Neither are mass and energy. Because mass, again, is a number of elementary particles which make up for the entire thing you are uh, the, the mass of. So, if you have a, an object, the mass of this thing is the number of base particles, the number of gravitons it is made of. That's the mass of it. The energy of it is the speed of the thing. That's the energy. So mass and energy are not related. But since these two uh, fooled mainstream science into thinking that those things are related, we now say, well, mass and energy, weight and energy, they are one and the same thing. So now we have, now we get at mass and we ex express mass in electron volts or joules. Electron volts is it's just a joule. It's uh, the same thing. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys. There is nothing new now. Higgs just admitted the existence of the graphon and the ether. And so it's totally wrong when it comes to the mass of it because this is impossible. Well, that's it. Have a nice day and uh, well, check out my channel if you want to know more about uh, the real inner works of the universe. Bye now.